Real Housewives fans may be used to watching a smoldering love affair disappear into thin air, but some of the most brutal splits on the show happened between seemingly lifelong friends. From New Jersey to Atlanta to the OC and Beverly Hills, these are the biggest breakups in Housewives history. If you've watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta since the beginning, you know that a building block of the show was the friendship between Nene and Kim. But a rift between these BFFs began when Nene took issue with Kim's sugar daddy, Big Papa, a wealthy married businessman reportedly bankrolling Kim's lavish lifestyle. Close your legs to married men. Excuse you heard me? It? Close your legs to married men. Kim went on to star in the Housewives spin-off, Don't Be Tardy, but despite living increasingly separate lives on the small screen, her relationship with Nene seems to be on the mend. When the two reunited on Cocktails After Dark in April 2020, Nene explained, My husband was sick with cancer, and I just felt like life is just too short. Kim's son had an accident, and I felt like we should just move on. A month later, Kim shared on Watch What Happens Live. It wasn't like we reconciled. Um, we started talking a couple years back, and so we chat here and there through text. Kim's daughter, Brielle, told Us Weekly that while their stint on Housewives was indeed toxic for their family, her mother's friendship with Nene was special. She tweeted, Kim and Nene will always be the most iconic duo and Housewives, period. This is a love story that turned into a horror story. Nini's relationship troubles have also involved her marriage to Greg Leakes. While they appeared to be happy at the beginning of the series, things began to unravel in 2010 after 13 years of marriage. When audio of Greg trash-talking his wife leaked on the radio, she confronted him on the show, declaring, I stood by you when you have done me wrong as your wife. We've lost loyalty and trust. Nini also later revealed that Greg had cheated on her. They were divorced by 2011. But while that could have been the end of their love story, the these two patched things up, remarried in 2013, and were a united front as Greg battled colon cancer in 2018. By May of the following year, he announced he was cancer-free. But rumors began swirling that the couple was once again headed towards Splitsville. Greg was caught having so-called inappropriate conversations with an employee. Nene was accused of having an affair. And by October 2019, there was talk of an open marriage. But whatever their true status may be, this real housewife explained on the season 12 after show, we have have a great understanding. We're committed to staying married. After Bethany Frankel's 2010 wedding to Jason Hoppe, she tweeted, quote, Best night of my life. Sadly, their made-for-TV fairy tales soon morphed into tragedy, and the Real Housewives of New York City star later described living with Jason as a, quote, torture chamber. They appeared to present a united front for the sake of their daughter, Bryn, telling people of their separation in 2012. We have love and respect for one another and will continue to amicably co-parent our daughter, who is and will always remain our first priority. But amicable respect was notably absent during subsequent battles over Bethany's skinny girl fortune. In 2016, the former housewife thought the fight was over when a court ruled she was no longer required to pay spousal support, but E! reported that Jason was arrested in 2017 for, quote, aggravated harassment and stalking after sending his ex unwanted emails and texts and showing up at their daughter's school to confront her. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how successful you are, it, you sometimes can't get yourself out of a situation. Upon her departure from Housewives that August, Bethany tweeted a farewell to the cast, which referenced her seemingly endless divorce, writing, I had to go since I'm the only one that is actually married. That's how crazy this ride is. Love isn't forever. In her memoir, Life on the Ramona Coaster, Real Housewives of New York star Ramona Singer told all about the demise of her marriage to Mario. As she explained it, in 2013, her husband of 21 years seemed more interested in singles parties than in his family. While friends had hinted that Mario was unfaithful, Ramona refused to believe it. Former Housewives star Jill Zarin even told people that Ramona, quote, looked the other way. Mario denied an affair, but the Ramona Coaster took a sharp turn when a friend revealed that Mario had been arguing on the phone with another woman. After Ramona confronted him, Mario eventually confessed. The next morning, Ramona says he promised he would end the affair, but instead, he reportedly went out to dinner with his mistress that night. According to the Daily News, Ramona filed for divorce after finding Mario and his mistress at the couple's Southampton home in 2014. Ramona told People, I tried to make my marriage work, but you reach a point where you realize the other person isn't putting in as much effort as you are, and I reached my breaking point. It feels like my world has fallen apart. 
The marriage may have ended, but the ex's friendship seems to be working out surprisingly well, and their daughter Avery posted several snaps of the three quarantining together in 2020. Vicki Gunvalson has had her share of romantic ups and downs since The Real Housewives of Orange County premiered in 2006. Long before Brooks ever entered the picture, the show documented the twilight of Vicki's marriage to Don Gunvalson. Though Vicki had confessed that her, quote, love tank was empty, the couple renewed their vows to celebrate their 15-year anniversary. But just under a year after the celebration aired on TV in 2010, Vicki filed for divorce, shocking even her husband. During the season six reunion, Don revealed, I found out uh, that Vicky filed for divorce um, when the process server showed up at my office. Yeah, I was a little bit, I was a little bit shocked at that. As was unpacked on the season seven reunion, before her split with Don, Vicky had been secretly communicating with Brooks, who was reeling her in with tales of a purported battle with cancer. According to E, Brooks allegedly falsified documents, saying he had received cancer treatments. The pair ultimately split in 2015. Vicky once admitted to HuffPost that she regrets divorcing Don, claiming, "'Hindsight, I wish I would have worked harder in the marriage.'" Still, her love tank now appears to be full with fiancé Steve Lodge. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Brandi Glanville's storylines are ripe with the makings of a Lifetime movie, but no drama in Brandi's history has been as impactful to the show's narrative as her friendship breakup with Lisa Vanderpump. Okay, Pick on somebody your own size. Go already. on, go. Let's do it. Pick on somebody your own. No. No, that's Jared. wrong. Lisa originally served as a mentor to Brandy as she struggled with the public humiliation stemming from her ex-husband's infidelity. But while they became fast friends, eventually Brandy realized that things may not be what they seem. She later said on her Unfiltered podcast, "'You know what? Lisa Vanderpump is a manipulative person, and when I was on the show, I did a lot of her dirty work for her, and I finally realized it, and I started calling her on her sh I fell in love with her in a weird way because no one else was talking to me. And then you become one of her minions, and then you realize it. Lisa has been more tight-lipped about the split. We will likely never know the whole story, but both parties still seem to believe that absence, in this case, does not make the heart grow fonder. Real Housewives of New York fans were shocked to see an end to Bethany and Carol's close friendship. Carol joined the show in season five, and when OG Bethany returned for season seven, the two quickly developed a tight bond. But viewers didn't seem to love the vibe when the two were together. One fan tweeted a Mean Girls reference, writing, Carol, you're 100% a different person without Bethany. I mean, Gretchen was pretty nice without Regina, too. Carol clapped back with, oh, this is the most moronic thing people can say. I'm 100% on the show, not like some others who fake friendships. I need to know what's, what's going on. Well, what's happening? I think it's like an erosion. The beginning of the end was during season 10, when Bethany made comments about Carol's boyfriend, calling him out for declining to go on a charity trip without being compensated for his time. Of course, Carol wasn't happy with the claims, which she discussed on her blog. Bravo superfan actor Jane Krakowski weighed in on the fallout during an episode of Watch What Happens Live, saying, my bigger question with that is, what are they actually fighting about? Right. I mean, I'm not sure what the, it's just because they're no longer friends. But I sort of feel like Carol gets a new best friend every season. Yolanda Hadid and music producer David Foster appeared to be a match made in heaven. She happily catered to his every whim, and the couple had that lovey-dovey glow when Yolanda joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills in season three. But her subsequent battle with Lyme disease threw the dynamic of their marriage into a tailspin. She told People, "'All of a sudden, all of the things we shared, all of the things we used to love to do together, that all shut down. I couldn't participate in that life anymore.'" We move to the latest Hollywood heartbreak. David Foster and his reality star wife Yolanda call it quits. In her memoir, Believe Me, My Battle with the Invisibility of Lyme Disease, Yolanda claimed David wasn't feeling the new vibe in their relationship, but his take on the split sounds a bit different. In the Netflix documentary David Foster, Off the Record, he claimed their demise had nothing to do with her illness. He then expressed frustration over being recognized for his appearances on Housewives instead of his legendary musical accomplishments. Hey, I got 16 f***ing Grammys, okay? I've sold half a billion records. F*** that show. Real Housewives of New Jersey drama turned real for Joe and Teresa Giudice when they were indicted on charges of mail, wire, and bankruptcy fraud. Both served prison time as part of a guilty plea with back-to-back -back sentences so one parent could be with their four children. Former housewife Caroline Manzo said on Watch What Happens Live, The only thing I can think of is their kids, and I yeah. just, God bless those kids. 
Having moved from Italy to the States as a child, Joe never became an American citizen. Page Six reported he was subsequently deported to Italy, which marked the end of the couple's 20-year marriage. At the time, a source told People, they discussed their future when Teresa and the girls went to Italy to visit Joe, and they agreed that each had to move on. You either learn two things in there. You either learn how to become a criminal or a better person. So I'm going to try to become a better person. During a tell-all interview with Andy Cohen, Joe offered Teresa some dating advice, suggesting she should date men who have money. She has four kids. Her way of living isn't cheap. She's high maintenance. She makes a good paycheck, but at the end of the day, she still needs more. Their divorce was finalized in September 2020. Shannon Bedore was shocked to discover her husband, David, had begun an affair as she started filming her first Real Housewives of Orange County episode for season 9. Despite the betrayal, the Bedores embarked on an on-camera emotional roller coaster through counseling, a couple's retreat, and even a vow renewal. After they exhausted every possible avenue, their 17-year marriage came to a full stop in 2017. Shannon said at the season 12 reunion, I felt alone in my marriage. You need two people to make a marriage work, and that just wasn't happening in our relationship. It's just making the adjustment. This had to happen. With joint custody of their three children, Shannon and David have succeeded at amicable co-parenting. On one of Shannon's post-split Instagram pics, a fan commented, You're stronger than you think. I commend you for your willpower and strength to carry on despite your setbacks. Shannon told People in January 2020 she has, quote, never been happier, in large part due to her new boyfriend, John. And for his part, David is now married to his wife, Leslie, who looks to be about 20 years his junior. If your sister contemplates hiding your marriage license to protect you from making a huge mistake, you might want to heed her warning. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey's sister, Mallory, appeared to have hidden the marriage license for Cynthia's wedding to Peter Thomas, but she says she had actually merely forgotten it. Mallory told Radar Online, I did say that I thought maybe the lost certificate was perhaps a sign that maybe they should wait to get married. Honestly, think about it before you do this. Because after you do this, this was going to be like struggling. But the wedding went ahead as planned, and the romance promptly crashed and burned. Peter told a local radio station that Cynthia's lack of belief in him caused the divorce, but Cynthia addressed those comments, telling The Daily Dish, I think I wholeheartedly supported his business ventures. I had just reached my personal breaking point. I felt like I didn't have any more to give. I love Peter. We've just come to the end of the road. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite reality TV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.